I find it very important to protect and keep our natural environment as well as all the species that exist and coexist with us um, in best shape as possible. Learned a lot on the marine science aspect in college um, and of course after college with internships and my current profession. But with Hula, it more grounds me with the Malka aspect when we learn about Laka, the goddess of Hula and all the different Kino Lao or body forms that comes with Hula. And it's just that nice connection, connecting Malka to Makai. More often than none that we kind of ensure that connection is um, very prevalent when it comes to our work, because whatever happens in our Malka, our uplands um, affects our coast, uh, coastal um, environments, especially our oceans. Since Hawaii is such an important breeding, um, mating, and calving ground for kohola or humpback whales in Hawaii, it's a very important habitat. And the Hawaiian Islands Humpback Whale National Marine Sanctuary was designated to ensure that we keep those habitats and protect these whales that are coming to our islands every winter, every year, because we want them to come back to Hawaii. There are Kama Aina whales, resident whales, that come annually, and we always enjoy when they do come and visit. Different paths and end up in these same areas or spaces at different times of our lives and journeys, right? And knowing that not everybody is gonna have that passion and love for Papahana Mokoakea that I have, but in hopes that I hope that my time, that the moment that I get to share with them, I just plant a little bit of love for Papahana Mokoakea for that space. Because the reality is when people come in, especially folks not from Hawaii, they know Hawaii is expanding from Hawaii Island to Kauai. And they don't realize that there's more um, islands past Kauai. And, and so really giving them that, um, that mo'olalo, the sharing of just the name, whatever I can in that time that we're exchanging together is meaningful and um, I feel is um, in a way a reason why they came, whether or not they knew why they were walking into the building. Yeah. So, um, and then it gives opportunity for people to share their stories and ask their questions and really kind of know more about us and really thinking about the importance of Hawaii beyond our main Hawaiian islands, but the whole entire archipelago and the relevance and significance culturally, ancestrally, environmentally, and even our maritime heritage. When I think about voyaging and being students of the ocean and kind of the way that that ties into stewardship and care of the ocean, what's really kind of nagging at me to talk about is that Hokula'a has been voyaging for almost 50 years and that in all those years, you know, so much has been learned and there's still so much to learn, but the ocean is continuing to change. And, you know, we just returned from about a week of deep sea training and a lot of that was, I don't know if hindered is the right word, but there was a lot of changing of the sail plan because of weather. And so just recognizing and being humble and attentive to nature and the way that it's continuing to change and oceans are warming and, you know, trade wind patterns that have been consistent um, for decades, if not longer, aren't the same anymore. And I think that's part of our kuleana now as students of the ocean is to be attentive to those changes. But I think that it also presents us with the challenge of not being able to completely rely on the way that things have always been done. There's this constant necessity to raise the bar and to know the weather even better and to know the vessels even better and how we can adjust them in order to be safe. You know, safety is always our number one priority. And so I think there's a lot of changing elements, you know, and I know it always talks about how quickly the world is changing and it's changing so quickly that we find ourselves wrapped up and we don't know what to do. And so I think that with voyaging, you know, the ocean really is our classroom. And so if our classroom is changing and we don't know how to operate or how to learn within our classroom anymore, I think that then just creates this whole cascade of delays and, you know, effects and we have to be prepared to handle those as they come. When I think of stewardship, it's not one organization or one hui of people that are doing all of the work. It's all of us 
bringing our different ike to the table and sitting and explaining with each other, this is how my piece fits into the puzzle. This is what value I see and what you know. And so I think that stewardship really calls us to move towards action together.